knitters. Today's a big day. We have learned the knit stitch. We have learned the purl stitch. And we've learned, well, we started off by learning how to cast on. Today, we're going to learn an incredibly useful skill to add to our toolbox, to our knitting toolbox. We're gonna to learn how to increase a stitch. So we're gonna turn one stitch into two stitches. There are several different ways to do this. Uh, the, the most common, sort of easiest one, probably, if I'm gonna label them from easy to hard, though I probably won't, uh, but a really common way to increase is to do a simple yarn over. And you may see that in the future in a pattern uh, abbreviated to a Y-O. So Y-O stands for yarn over. So I've knit my first stitch and a yarn over is exactly that. I take my yarn and I bring it up and over the right hand needle. And just the act of doing that, if I then take another stitch and I use that yarn to take my next stitch, that yarn over has created an extra stitch. And also, that's a very common thing that happens when a new knitter is knitting, just generally. You may, if you all of a sudden find that you have more stitches than you started with, it's most likely that somewhere along the line, you did a couple of yarn overs without realizing that you'd done them. So what that is, sometimes we actually do that on purpose to create an extra stitch. When we do a yarn over, it creates a small hole in the fabric because as you can imagine because there's no stitch there if I pull this out you can see because there's no actual stitch there this is just a little bit of loose wool and so that little bit of loose wool opens up and creates a nice hole so when we're doing lace that's a you know that's what we're looking for we want to do that so yarn overs are fun and useful but the dishcloth pattern that we are going to be making and the link for that dishcloth pattern is going to be in the show notes below. In the drop down menu below, you can find a link to Louise Patterson's dishcloth pattern that we're going to be using. And we all, the, the three of us, the fiber friends, we prefer a dishcloth that doesn't use a yarn over as the increase because I prefer to have a dishcloth that doesn't have that edge of um, holes. So we're going to do a different kind of increase that doesn't add a hole. It's going to be called a knit front back increase. When you see that abbreviated, it will look like KFB, knit front back. And that's the kind of increase that we're going to learn today. So in a nutshell, and on the pattern, you'll see that the very first stitch of the row is a knit stitch. So I'm going to leave that knit stitch that I've done. I'm going to leave it there. And the next thing that I'm going to do is my increase. When we start the knit front back, we start it exactly the same way that we start our regular knit stitch. So if you remember the rhyme, we go in through the front door, around the back, peep through the window, and here's where we stop. The last part of it, and off jumps Jack, we're not gonna let Jack jump off that needle just yet because we're not quite done with that stitch. We have one more step to take. I'm going to take my right hand needle and I'm going to bring it around to the back of the left hand needle. Now I still have that second stitch, so even though it looks like three, one, two, three, these are two new stitches and this is still my old stitch. I'm not done with the old stitch yet. And you may remember that I mentioned that we call these legs. So this is the front leg of the stitch and this is the back leg of the stitch. So I'm gonna bring my right hand needle tip and I'm going to put it in from the right to the left through the back of the back leg of that stitch that I've already taken part of the stitch with. I'm going to then bring it around, around the back. I'm going to then continue on, peep through the window and off jumps Jack. And you'll see now that I have turned two stitches into three. And I have done a knit front back and crease. So let's do it again. In through the front door, around the back, peep through the window, and now Jack's not quite done yet. Bring the needle tip around to the back. We're gonna come through 
the back leg of that old stitch that we're still working with. We're not done with it yet. Bring the needle tip through. Bring your yarn around because you're going to knit that again. You're going to knit through the back of the stitch. Pull it through and off. You're going to want to watch that your tension isn't too tight because those can those can get a little tight. However, uh, we only have to do one at the beginning of each row of the dishcloth pattern. And that's it guys. If you have any questions on doing the knit front back increase, leave me a comment or question below. I am going to be putting out another video tomorrow where we can start the dishcloth pattern together. I'm going to go over the pattern with you to make sure that you understand everything that you're reading. And then guess what? We're going to start our dishcloth tomorrow. Happy knitting guys. Gerald, I hope it's going well and I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow.